thousands of merchants using WooCommerce need a way to restrict specific products from public view. Take for example a bakery selling to local restaurants as well as the public, or an industrial supplier selling hazardous goods along with their regular materials, or perhaps an apparel brand releasing an exclusive member-only merch drop. There are literally countless reasons why some stores would want to hide their product categories from non-members. So today I'll show you how to set this up with the help of our WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin. Here's an example of the plugin in action. I can restrict any product category or subcategory and limit access to it with password protection. Or I can set up user roles which have access once they log in to my site. And I can even unlock categories for specific users that I choose. I also have the option to completely hide the categories from my store pages and navigation. Or I can choose to show links to those pages, but they're still protected from purchasing. To follow along with this tutorial, you can try out the admin demo by visiting our website, or you can simply purchase a copy of the plugin and install it on your own site. In either case, use the first link in the description below. And just so you're aware, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee as well. So now let's get started. If you're purchasing WooCommerce protected categories, follow these instructions to install and activate it on your site. If you're just using the admin demo today, skip ahead to step two using the video timestamps. After checkout, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new plugin, and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Click install, and then activate. In the setup wizard, enter your license key and click activate. If you don't see the setup wizard, use this link to go to the plugin settings page and enter your license key there. Then launch the setup wizard manually if it's your first time using the plugin. For the initial setup of the plugin, we'll use the most basic settings and default options. Then later, I'll show you how to customize things even further. In the next step, visibility, make sure to check both of these boxes and click next. Under access type, check both the boxes here, and this will allow us to see everything that the plugin can do. For now, the first option in both login page and when logged out will be good. You can click on next. And under password protection, you don't need to change anything at the moment as we'll be coming back to this later on in the video. Click next and go to the settings page. With the plugin enabled, we can now add some protected categories. You can protect as many categories as you like while leaving the others public. Navigate to products, product categories, and from here, you can either use the option to add a new category, and then you can add the protection in the visibility section down here, or you can edit an existing category. For example, I've created a member exclusive category already. If you're creating a new category, then click here on this visibility and choose protected. And then there are three different types of protection you can offer. You can add password protection by entering a password here, I'll just put in one for example, and you can add more with this plus button and so on, or you can remove them. The next option is user roles. So if you choose this option, you can find users, including administrators, so you can see those private categories yourself, and then whatever user roles you've already set up on your site using this user tab here on the left. So for example, I could choose subscriber and I could also choose something else like wholesale or shop vendor. Then in the user section, you can select specific users to have access to this category. So for example, my random subscriber and I could add myself as a user as well. Then you would click on add new category after entering the information up here. But instead, I'm going to edit this category here. So click on edit, scroll down to the bottom, and the same steps apply. I can choose protected. I can add a password. I might just make it really simple for myself today. So I've just set up password, protection, user, and 
rule protection as well. Now click on update and go back to your categories. And if you want, you can create new categories, which will be nested underneath those categories. So for example, I've created this exclusive shirts category, which has the parent category of member exclusive. And you can see the visibility is inherited in this, in this case. But in order to do that, I have to leave the visibility set to public, which sounds counterintuitive, but this allows the plugin to inherit the same protection levels. Otherwise, you would have to create new passwords and new user roles for this to have any protection. So you can create more complex navigation structures by protecting a category and adding child categories to it. Next, we need to make sure that our newly protected categories actually have some products in them. So let's go to all products and make sure we have assigned some products. So I'll click on this barn to beanie, for example, and over here on the right, I can choose the categories. Now I've already added it to the member exclusive category and it still exists in the non-exclusive hats category. Note that any product appearing in both a protected and a public category will be protected by default. So to sell a product on both the protected and public side of your store, you'll need to make a copy of that plugin and put one in each category. So I'll click on update on that product and then go back to my product screen and I'll find another product, click on quick edit, and I can quickly add this to the exclusive shirts category. Again, it doesn't matter if it's in another category because it will be protected by being in this category. Click on update. So now I've added a couple of products to my protected categories so we can see how it works later on. So now we can take a look at our store on the front end and see what's been changed by the plugin. Over on the side of the page, I have this category widget enabled and we can see the member exclusive and exclusive shirts category listed here among the other public categories. Now note that this is what the user would see if they were on the public facing store. But if I click on one of these categories, it'll take me to a login page where I then have to enter the correct password. And only then when I enter that correct password, can I view the products and shop for them normally. You also have the option to add these categories to your site's menu. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. Navigate to appearance and then click on menus. And you can see we have our main header menu here. And over on the left hand side, click on product categories, find your newly made exclusive categories and add them to the menu. And then you can also indent this piece here so it follows the same hierarchical structure as the others. Click on Save Menu, then go to WooCommerce and click on Settings, go to Products, and Protected Categories. These are all the plugin settings yet again, and make sure that this option is still enabled, Show Protected Categories and Products in Navigation Menus. Scroll down to the bottom, click on Save Changes. Then after refreshing the page, you should see your newly added member exclusive category and the category we put underneath it as well. But what if you don't want these categories to be visible to all shoppers before they log in? We can go back to the plugin settings page and hide these categories from public view by unchecking the category visibility options. Then if I view the store from the point of view of a public not logged in member, then I will no longer see those menu items or the categories along with the list of main categories here. So effectively, we have a completely hidden and protected categories set up. But that would leave our users with no obvious way to log in and see those products, which is why it's better to create a single login page and add it to your menu so members can log in from that page and then see all of your hidden categories. The login page setup will depend on what kind of protection you're applying to your categories. First, password protected categories will be unlocked when the user has the correct password, but they don't need to be logged into their user account through WordPress. So to create a central login page, I recommend first creating a new membership login page 
here in the WordPress pages section. You can just add a new page and give it a name for now. Then go back to the plugin settings, which I have on a separate tab. And in the password login section at the bottom of the page, you can choose that newly created page. Then you can modify the text here for the heading and the message. I like it how it is, but I can also show you how to change it if you want to. Just simply change the text here. You can also give the password label a different name, and you can use that as a placeholder. For example, enter your password. And down here, you can modify the password expiry in number of days. Then click on Save Changes. Now, if we go back to Pages, this page has already been set up as the central login page. But if you go to the menu and click on Refresh, you can also add this page, member login, to your menu and click on Save Menu. Now, if we go back to viewing the store from the public side of things, we can see there's a new member login page that everyone can view and click on. This will bring us to the premium member area where we can again enter our password, submit, and we're back into the member exclusive zone. And this will take us straight to the member exclusive category. Now do note that the plugin comes with the category login shortcode that you can add to any page and make it a login page. So you can mess around with that if you want to, but this is the simplest setup that I've just shown you. Please note that when someone clicks on a link to a category directly, they will see a simple login form and not the central login page. The central login page is only used when people click on a link to that page. With user or role protection, the category can be unlocked whenever the user logs into their account on your website. This means that you don't need a special login form and the ordinary login setup will work through your site. But note that this is not part of our plugin, rather it's coming from WordPress itself. So here's some different ways that you can allow users to log in on your site. On the settings page for the plugin, you can enable the default WordPress login page. But I recommend that you add a custom login page and select the account page, as this is a more professional way of setting things up. Then scroll down again and save changes. Then logged out users are shown a login form when they try to access the WooCommerce account page. Check out the article in our knowledge base I've linked below to learn how to enable new registrations for your protected categories. And if you want to redirect users to a protected WooCommerce category after they log in, I've linked another useful knowledge base article below. I hope this video helped you out today. If it did, please support our work by liking this video. Thank you so much. If you want to test out the plugin on a live demo site, click this link here. Or check out this video to learn how to add wholesale prices to your WooCommerce store. And of course, thanks for watching.